so let us now come back and learn one more topic of silica that is silicones right so silicones <coughs> right so general formula for representation of silicon is r2 sio okay what is this r this r is called alkyl group alkyl group what is alkyl group suppose if i take an alkene right so in alkene suppose if i take the basic alkene methane if i remove one hydrogen from this it becomes methyl so methyl is an alkyl group okay one hydrogen less alkene is called alkyl group right so when i uh, take this alkyl uh, or uh, sil silicones to prepare i have to prepare this so first you are going to take an alkene as i said suppose if i have a uh, an alkene what is this alkene two carbons so it is ethane right now to this ethane i am going to add chlorine so what happens one h from here gets replaced with this chlorine so what do i get i get minus hcl observe i get ch3 correct here ch2 one hydrogen is already gone like this right with this cl so what is this this is going to come and occupy cl now if i write it in a general way right how can i write this instead of this is alkyl right now it is nothing but c2h5 cl c3 plus 2 5 so can i write it as rcl so now i've got this rcl isn't it now what am i going to do i'm going to take two moles of rcl right now you're going to combine it with silica so what product does it form now r is 2 so it becomes r2 si how many chlorines are there cl2 this is called chlorosilane or chlorosilanes now to this chlorosilane if i basically write the structure of chlorosilane right now observe carefully i'm going to take si in the center how many alkyl groups two how many chlorines two right now basically we have seen the uh, structure that is tetrahedral structure of uh, silicon so for uh, convenience i am just writing this planar structure so you have two r groups and two cl groups right now now to this particular thing i am going to add water molecule how many water molecules two water molecules just see why did i add if i write if i open up this water molecule it is nothing but h plus oh minus h plus oh minus correct now observe this is also negative this is also negative this negative oh minus goes and replaces this these two chlorine atoms so what do i get now i get si your r group is still there your r group is here oh is here and oh is here that now what does this do this particular compound your this r instead of r r you can write it as ch3 also methyl ethyl propyl anything this r group is going to condense with one more molecule of so when this condenses it becomes again o now just face this this whole thing i'm writing it here si r r and oh now take out water molecule from here what do i get i get a compound like now here also this side also water molecule gets uh, condensed this side also water molecule just gets condensed what to, what will be left with you'll be left with si right hmm? your uh, this si and this si you're linked with oxygen correct yes now your this particular thing this particular group this group and this group it's like this isn't it uh suppose if i take this one to this side and oh on this side link So what is it going to form? It's going to form a unit called this is your basic unit. This this basic unit is called silica unit. That SI O SI unit is called silica unit. Now this goes on like this, and hence it is called a chain polymer. Chain polymer. Polymer means 
Poly means many, mer means units. A chain, it goes on like a chain. 